Duke the Lost Engine, Grandpuff. Once upon a time, three little engines lived in their own little shed on their own little railway. Duke was brown, Falcon blue, and Stuart green. Duke was the oldest. He had been the first engine on the line and named after the Duke of Sodor. He was proud of this and wanted everything just so. Whenever the others did anything they shouldn't, he would say, that would never suit his grace. Other engines came and went, but Duke outlasted them all. Stuart and Falcon used to call him Grandpuff. Duke was fond of them and tried to keep them in order. They were fond of him too, as he was so wise and kind, but they did get tired of hearing about his grace. Sometimes they would wink at each other and chant solemnly. Engines come and engines go, Grandpuff goes on forever. You impertinent scallywags, Duke would say. Whatever are young engines coming to nowadays? Never mind, Grandpuff, we're only young once. Well, you'd better mind, unless you want to end up like number two. Ooh, Grandpuff, what happened? Number two, said Duke, was American and very cocky. He rode roughly and often came off the rails. I warned him to be careful. Listen, bud, he drawled. In the States, we don't care a dime for a few spills. We do here, I said, but he just laughed. But he didn't laugh when the manager took away his wheels and said he was going to make him useful at last. Why? What did he do? He turned him into a pumping engine. That's what. He's still there behind our shed. Stuart and Falcon were unusually good for several days. Stuart and Falcon became useful engines and all three were happy together for many years. But hard times came, the mines closed one by one and the engines had little to do. At last, their line was closed and people came to buy the engines. We'll take Stuart and Falcon, they said, but no one wanted Duke. They thought him too old. Cheer up, Grandpuff, called Stuart as they went away. We'll find a nice railway and then you can come and keep us in order. They all laughed bravely, but not one of them thought it would ever come true. Duke's driver and fireman oiled and greased him. They sheeted him snugly and said goodbye. They had to go away and find work. Duke was alone, locked up in the shed. Where's his grace, he wondered. It's not like him to forget me. But his grace had been killed in the war, and the new Duke, a boy, hadn't heard of his little engine. Oh well, said Duke to himself, I'll go to sleep. It'll help to pass the time. Years passed. Winter torrents washed soil from the hills over the shed. Trees and bushes grew all around. You wouldn't have known a shed was there, let alone a little engine asleep inside it. Have you guessed about Stuart and Falcon? Yes, you're right. They came to Mr. Percival's railway. He gave them new coats and new names. Stuart became Peter Sam and Falcon Sir Handel. They prefer their new names. That was a long time ago, but they never forgot Grandpuff and often talked about him when alone. They were excited to hear that the Duke was coming to Scarlo in Renaissance's 100th birthday, but most disappointed with the Duke who actually came, for he was only a man. But we must say no more, or we'll spoil the next story.